In this lesson, we will examine some techniques for solving questions involving inequalities and absolute value. Now, in an earlier lesson, we learned that the absolute value of a number is the number's distance from zero on the number line. So, to find the absolute value of negative 4, we'll draw a number line and then locate negative 4 on that number line. Since negative 4 is 4 units away from 0, we can conclude that the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. We can now apply this concept to help us solve inequalities involving absolute values. Here we are told that the absolute value of x is less than 3. In other words, x is less than 3 units away from 0 on the number line. So to solve this inequality, we must find all values of x that are less than 3 units away from 0 on the number line. Well, we know that negative 3 and 3 are exactly 3 units away from 0, which means they are not part of the solution since we want values of x that are less than 3 units away from 0. However, we can see that all values between negative 3 and 3 are less than 3 units away from 0 on the number line. So from this, we can see that the solution to this inequality is x is greater than negative 3 and less than 3. We can now generalize these results as follows. If the absolute value of x is less than a, where a is a positive number, then the solution to the inequality will be x is greater than negative a and less than a. Okay, now let's examine a different example. Here we see that the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2. So we are looking for all values of x that are 2 or more units away from 0 on the number line. Well, to begin, negative 2 and 2 are exactly 2 units away from 0, so they are part of the solution. Also, all numbers to the right of 2 will be more than 2 units away from 0, so they are part of the solution. And all numbers to the left of negative 2 will be more than 2 units away from 0, so they are also part of the solution. This means our solution consists of two parts. First, x is less than or equal to negative 2, or x is greater than or equal to 2. We can now generalize these results as follows. If the absolute value of x is greater than a, where a is a positive number, then the solution to the inequality will be x is greater than a, or x is less than negative a. Now another way to tackle inequality questions involving absolute value is as follows. Simply take the inequality and add the negative version of the number we are comparing the absolute value to. Then add an inequality sign facing the same direction. At this point, simply remove the absolute value symbols and you have your solution. Let's try another example. Here the absolute value of x is greater than 3. Now when the absolute value of x is greater than a number, we have a slightly different situation which we will examine shortly. To set this up, we will take the given inequality and add the negative version of the number we are comparing the absolute value to. Then add an inequality sign facing the same direction. From here, just remove the absolute value symbols and you have your solution. Now we're not quite done just yet. You might have noticed that we have a bit of a problem here. This part of our inequality says that x is less than negative 3, and this part says that x is greater than 3. Since x cannot be less than negative 3 and greater than 3, we will have to break this inequality into two parts. So first we have x is less than negative 3, so we can write that down here. And we also have x is greater than 3, which we can write here. So the solution to our inequality is x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 3. Okay, let's use our technique now to solve this inequality. First, we'll take the given inequality and add negative 5 and an inequality sign facing the same direction as the other inequality sign. From here, we'll remove the absolute value symbols and then solve for x. To do this, we'll add 1 to all three parts, and then we'll divide all three parts by 2 to get x is greater than negative 2 and less than 3. Now, if we wish, we can show the solution on the number line as follows. Okay, let's try one more. 
First we'll take the inequality and add negative 6 and a second inequality sign facing the same direction. Next we will remove the absolute value symbols and solve for x. To do this we'll first subtract 6 from all three parts and then we will divide all three parts by negative 3. So negative 12 divided by negative 3 equals 4. Next, we will reverse the direction of the inequality sign since we're dividing both sides by a negative number. Next, we have negative 3x divided by negative 3, which is x. Next, we'll reverse this inequality sign. And finally, 0 divided by negative 3 is 0. Notice that once again, we have a contradictory inequality. We see that x is greater than or equal to 4 and x is less than or equal to 0. As such, we must split this inequality into two parts. When we do this, we get x is greater than or equal to 4, or x is less than or equal to 0. We'll show this solution on the number line in two parts. Here we have x is greater than or equal to 4, and here we have x is less than or equal to 0. Okay, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned how to solve inequality questions involving absolute value.